Craft on Tap. I'm Nikki Myers, and we're in the midst of a seven days of stouts uh, segment of our program. We've been focusing on Clout Shoes, one of our favorite breweries, and big up to Michael Axt, their designer of all their amazing, awesome artwork. Uh, but so today, we're back on day three. Dun dun dum, Craft on Tap, beer peer review with the Hammer of the Holy. <laughs> a 2019 reprise or reprise of an American uh, Imperial Stout. So again, we went American and we went Russian. Not today, we go back to fucking American. Excuse my language, but I got excited to be an American for just a second over here, huh? you know what I'm saying? All right, so guys and gals, we are all about making sure that you stay responsible and safe when you're drinking. So please, again, when you drink, drink responsibly. Uh, always wear a helmet, make sure you have padding, padded clothing, you know, make sure you know, just be safe, okay? In addition to that, we know you're here watching us every week and we appreciate that, but please pass along our information, forward it to an ex-colleague, you know, an old boss, maybe your first mentor, um, your high school crush. We, we really don't care. We just want to get Craft on Tap out there to the world uh, and to let them know how great this show is. So day three of Seven Days of Stout, we have the Hammer of the Holy. And I think without further ado, yeah, we shall embark on the journey of beer. All right, folks, again, look at this awesome artwork. It's very cool. It's like heavy metal artwork or something I love it it's very great check out the art check out the pour let's see what kind of color we have on this much of course like you're gonna expect very dark but not as syrupy or maybe as thick as I would have maybe guessed look at that head kind of build lots of big bubbles on the top there they're kind of bubbling out it's breathing a little bit and a lot of effervescence on the outside of the glass as well as that sort of orange hue developing just a little bit on a ring there um, Oh, right off the bat. As you're gonna get, you know, I'm getting cacao, I'm smelling some chocolate hot cocoa, I'm definitely getting the hint of coffee in there. But this one to me is a little bit more forward on the, on the chocolate side, so I'm a chocolate fan. A little more bittersweet, a little baker's chocolate perhaps. Now let's get a good old taste on this one. Yeah, that's amazing. Now I do wanna point out, and I'm catching it right now, that this is also aged in rum barrels. So you're gonna get that maybe some sweetness from the rum, Potentially some of that woodiness or nuttiness that I may be tasting in there has something to do with the fact that it's been aged in a barrel. Now, one of the great things about Clown Shoes is they experiment with all kinds of different stuff. But I really like what they've done here, uh, adding this rum barrel, you know, uh, select. And it's basically, what is it, an 11% ABV at this point. So you're getting absolute quality on this one. Let's have some more. Now, this is a hammer of the hole. It again is a 2019 throwback from Clown Shoes. You know, check them out on the web. We endorse their product. We like all sorts of different kinds of products from our state and beyond. So send us your information. If you're from out of state or from in state here in New Mexico, let us know what you want to talk about. What kind of beers do you like? Who do you like? When do you like? And uh, whatever. You know what I'm talking about. You. I'm talking to you. Yeah. Duh, you. You're the only one looking. You're the only. Yeah, but seriously. But seriously. Anyway, guys, I'm Nick A. Myers. It's been a pleasure drinking beer with you. You're watching Craft on Tap, and we'll see you next time.